All right, we're back. Once again, if you got saved for any other reason, then you want eternal life with Jesus and you do not want to go to the lake of fire. If that's not the reason you got saved, guess what? You are not saved. In order for anyone to be saved, and I said this in my very first message, 25 years ago, in 1991, May 1991, I said this statement in my very first official message in the church. I said in order for a person to be saved, they must realize they lost. If you didn't get saved because you realized you was lost, guess what? You still lost and you're not saved. But in realizing uh, that you're lost, when you realize you, you're lost, then Jesus commands you to do something else. What we want here, let's look at, let's go to St. Luke. Let's go to St. Luke. Get your Bible and follow along with me. Luke. I want to go to Luke, the fifth chapter. I got, and I want to. Luke 5, is that 32? Let's see here. Let's see what this is, see if this is what I want. Hmm. No, that's not the one. Let's go to Luke 15, 14. That's what I want. Luke 15, 14, get your Bible. Study along with us. If you did not get saved because you realized you was lost and you didn't want to be lost, you ain't saved. Because if you didn't realize you was lost, that means you had no need or saw no need to get saved or come to Jesus. And when you realize you're so, you're, you are lost, that's the only reason you can get saved. And all through the scripture, Jesus and the apostles showed the folk where they were lost. On the day of Pentecost, Peter showed the folk where they were lost. He said, God made that same Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Huh? And they said, me and brother, what shall we do? Then Peter said, repent. And what you got to do? That's what you got to do. Repent. <laughs> Look at what Jesus said when you realize you lost, when you know you lost. And if you don't know you lost, but he showed you you lost. And Luke the 15th chapter and the 7th verse, it reads on this wise, my God. I say unto you that likewise, Joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented. More than over 99 just persons who need no repentance. The 10th verse of the 15th chapter of Luke. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. Eh? When you realize you're lost and you want to be saved, you repent. You come to Jesus, you believe, and you repent. Now, uh, let's go. To, now, in case you don't understand what repentance means, let's go to Luke 3 and 9. I want to show you something. Did you not know? Let's show you what repentance means. And this is John. 
Zong preached repentance and remission of sins also. The difference is this. Zong preached repent, repent and remission of sin and believe, don't believe on him, believe on the one that's coming after him. The apostles preached repentance and remission of sin saying that we believe or saying that you believe on the one that John preached about that we're going to come after. He done came now and he sent us to preach repentance and remission of sin. We better go there. <laughs> go 24. My God, 24. And the 40 and seventh verse. And that repentance, 46. And he said to them, Thus it is written, Thus it behoove Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. And that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. That's what Jesus told him to preach. And so they preach it in his name, starting at Jerusalem on Pentecost. And they still doing it now. They did, but I'm here <laughs> preaching the same thing, repentance and remission of sin. Other preachers here preaching the same thing, repentance and remission of sin. And preacher, that's what you got to preach. Preacher, Nowhere in the Bible did Jesus tell you to tell somebody to accept Christ as their personal Savior. That's not in Scripture. It's not in Scripture. It just accept Christ. Just confess Jesus is Lord. Just believe. That's not Scripture. The Scripture is repentance and remission of sin. Once you believe, once you believe that he is the son of God and that he is the only way to be saved and escape the lake of fire. Once you believe that, then the next thing you got to do is repent. Repentance and remission of sin. Come through Jesus and nobody else. All right. You understand. Preacher, if you tell anybody, Accept Christ as your personal Savior. Confess Christ as Savior. Just believe. And that's all you told them? And you did not tell them to repent? And you did not explain to them that they must repent of their sins? You did not explain to them that Jesus Christ will wash their sins away? If all you told them was accept Christ as your personal Savior, confess Jesus Christ as Lord, believe. If that's all you told them, you didn't preach the gospel. You did not preach the gospel. And you in error. And you need to repent of your sin, pastor. People, if you went to the altar and all the, all the preacher told you to do and all you did was accept the Christ your personal Savior, repeat it after him. I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He died and rose again. For my sin. If that's all you said. And you did not repent of your sin. You're not saved. Preacher. If that's all you told the people to do. Accept Christ. As they purge the Savior. And you did not tell them to repent of their sin. They are not saved. And you ain't saved. Let's come back and go, Father.